Now we entered the address we have read on the device in our preferred browser to get the generated code. In this page we also access the code generator's documentation. Clicking on our project we can copy the generated code and paste it into the Arduino IDE. We could just upload the code to finish. Since we have generated the connection and disconnection callbacks, we are going to customize the generated code to turn an LED on when the AI's device connects to Arduino and turn off the LED when the device disconnects from it. We had the define for the connection LED pin. In the setup function, we configure the pin as output. In the next tutorial, we'll learn because we are adding custom code into the code generator tags. We change this value to make the AIS app more responsive when we use very few widgets like in this project. In the device connected callback, we had the digital right to turn the LED on, and in the device disconnected, we had the digital right to turn it off. We are eventually ready to upload the code to Arduino Uno. We select the board and pour properly and click upload. Now we enter the connection information for Arduino Manager. The AES device automatically connects to the Arduino board and the connection LED turns on. Clicking on the button, the LED widget turns on. Double tap the widget to change the LED color. When Arduino Manager gets closed, it disconnects from Arduino board and the connection LED turns off. Our tutorial is completed. Thank you for watching and see you at the next one.